Hello? What do I want? <laughs> I want Cadbury's. The Cadbury Show! <laughs> Remember me? Why, it's Jack Harper. That's right, your favorite radio star brought to you each week by the makers of Pongo, the new liquid soap, in the handy rubber container. If the soap doesn't remove the dirt, you can erase it with a handy rubber container. <laughs> yeah, well... <clears throat> um, where's Purse? I don't know. As a matter of fact, I want to see him particularly today. Look, look at this photo. Do you recognize it, Jack Harper? Let me see, huh? Oh, yeah, I had this on my quiz program last week. It's the... Hairy ape of Tanganyika. Oh, I beg your pardon, that's a photo of Purse. Huh? Oh, is it? Yes, and read what's written underneath. Okay, it says, uh, this man is wanted dead, alive, or as he was when this photo was taken. <laughs> yeah, that's Purse, all right. Mm. And look, a thousand pound reward, and there's a full description. Yeah, uh, loud voice and a bright red nose. Yeah, that's his description. Hey, but uh, listen, what does this all mean, huh? I don't know, Jack. The rest of the picture's been torn away. He doesn't say what crime he's committed. Imagine purse with a thousand pounds in his head. Makes you wonder what the rest of him's worth. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Jack Happy, this is serious. We've got to get some clues. Clues, huh? Yeah, well, uh... Well, it must have been at night because he sleeps most of the day. However, oh, that's impossible. He's always over here at night. <coughs> Except, except last Thursday. Mm, what happened last Thursday? Nothing. Purse wasn't here. Oh. All right. All right. Well, now he has to account for his actions last Thursday night. Poor Purse. He looks so tired in this picture. I wonder where he was when it was taken. Straight out of a sick bed. Oh, Mr. Hercules, this is Jack Happy. Are you the Jack Happy on the wireless that runs the squiz? Uh, quiz? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh, I want to thank you. I really appreciate your session. Is that so? Well, do go on. Yes. My little boy would never go to bed. He always insisted on staying up and listening to the radio. But now that you're on the air, I never have any trouble with him. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. By the way, Mr. Hercules, I've got a complaint for you. I bet I've had it. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, my doctor reckons I've had every complaint in the book. I've had colic, arthritis, foot rot. Well, this is about your spinach. Oh, I had that in my left ear. No, no, I, it was my right ear. Well, it's left ear now, but before it was right ear. <laughs> Mr. Hercules, will you stop talking nonsense? I meant your vegetables. There were no stalks on that spinach you brought me. That doesn't matter. It's the leafy part that brings your vitamins. The stalk doesn't bring anything. <laughs> Mr. Hercules, didn't your mother ever tell you? Mm -hmm. Mr. Hercules, as a friend, tell me, has uh, Purse appeared to be worried about anything like that? Oh, no. If there's anything on his mind, it's a secret. Man, if there's anything on his mind, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, Jack, what's the matter? Oh, Elsie well, found a photo of Purse and he's wanted. There's a thousand pound reward for it, Mr. Hercules. I wonder what he did. Well, we don't know, but we've established that it was last Thursday night. Now, did you hear about any attacks? Attacks? I've got enough of my own. <laughs> the doctor says I'm tired out and badly drawn. In fact, I'm so badly drawn, I reckon I could win the Archibald Prize. <laughs> well, look, don't let us keep you if you've got to be going, Mr. Hercules. Uh, oh, well, uh, I'll go and see me doctor. Yeah, and look, uh, while you're at it, get him to have a look at that lump on your shoulders. That's not a lump, it's me head. Well, I'll see you again. Be brave. <laughs> I can't recall my mother. I don't remember that. But Mr. and Mrs. Sibir was all I ever had. I was born to wander, and I was born to roam. But Mr. and Mrs. Sibe made me feel at home. Oh, I was born to wander, and I was born to roam. But Mr. and Mrs. Sibe made me feel at home. My great. 
cradle was the river, my school the river boat. My teacher was a gambler, the slickest one to float. My teacher was a gambler, the slickest one to float. He taught me not to gamble on a penny Betty May, I love you, I love you, Betty May, I love you like a schoolboy loves a summer's day, just like the one the gypsy loves the change of just like the restless river loves old New Orleans, I'm fun, fun, Next time you're passing your chocolate counter, it will pay you to remember that Cadbury's smooth, creamy dairy milk chocolate in the quarter pound block now costs only two shillings. Same high quality, same guaranteed weight. Cadbury's quarter pound milk lunch, fruit and nut, candy nut, old Jamaica and energy chocolate have also been reduced to the same price. That makes each one of these firm Cadbury favourites, including dairy milk, even better chocolate value than ever. From the first deep bite, you can really taste the milk in dairy milk chocolate. Of course, thanks are due to that glass and a half of pure fresh full cream milk in each half pound. Not forgetting those thick, chunky squares that give you the full, rich flavour of the chocolate. Buy a block tomorrow. Remember Cadbury reduced prices. A quarter pound block for only two shillings. That's the new price of dairy milk. Another good reason for saying, I want... Cadbury's. Oh, Jack, I feel all churned up. Purse will be here any minute now. Well, you just leave it to me, Elsie. I won't tell him about you finding the photo or the uh, 1,000 pounds reward. No, I'll just ask him a few very discreet questions. Hello, Jolly Brain. Well, look who's here. It's Jack Happy. Still as popular as ever, eh? <laughs> Ah, too right, first. Still have people following me wherever I go. <laughs> I don't know how you can afford to pay them to do it. He, hmm? <laughs> Purse, I'm so glad you're here. I've been so worried about you. Yeah? Ah, oh, it's good to be wanted. He must be out of his mind. <laughs> you don't mean it, Purse? Never said a truer word in my life. It's only at times like this that I realise my true worth. Yeah, a thousand pounds dead or alive. Hey, what's going on here? Now sit down, Purse, while I ask you a few questions. Now, now be discreet, Jack. You just leave it to me. Just bring that reading lamp over here. Now. Hey, hey, that light's shining in my eyes. Don't worry about that. Bugsy? <laughs> Bugsy? Uh, Bugsy, you just answer questions, right? Now, where were you on the night of Thursday last? Answer yes or no. Oh, you won't talk, huh? <laughs> What's going on? Don't avoid the questions. Where were you? I'm not saying so there. Now, get off me back, will you? I came over here all merry and bright, and what happens? You put me through the third degree. Never mind, Press, you'll get used to it after a while. Now, what can I sell you people today? Honest Sam, that's what they call me. Oh, hello, Sam. I'm glad you dropped in. I don't know what it was you dropped in, but I'm glad. <laughs> I'm cool. Hey, how'd you like the pictures last Thursday night? The pictures? Last Thursday night? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I wasn't at any pictures, Sam. You must have the wrong bloke. I'm... Oh, come off it, Press. You spoke to me. I did? What did I say? You asked me not to mention that I'd seen you. Oh... Well, I'm sorry, I just thought I'd let you know that I hadn't told a soul. Ta. Cool. Hey. Oh, look. I like the new sound system. You can hear things all around the theatre. Ah. Like the part where King Caesar made that long-winded speech, paging the soldiers to leave for Rome. What? Cool. Purse. Here. Love what it. was he doing? Look. Hey, hey. You could hear them moving in the back of the theatre. Sam, that wasn't the soldiers leaving for Rome. That was the audience leaving for home. <laughs> oh. Now, what about that chariot race? Chariot race? Oh, yes. The chariot race. You know, the one the handsome hero won. What's his name? Humphrey Bo, uh, Bo something. Bo Peep. Oh, didn't you see the picture? I was, uh, 
I, I was behind a post. Yeah, that's right. I was behind a post. Behind a post. Behind a post. <laughs> well, now what you need here is this uh, X-ray spectacles. I've got that. Put yeah. them on. You can see through anything. Look, they were specially designed for wives so they could see through their husband's excuses for being home late. <laughs> no, thanks, Sam. No. Well, uh, here. What about this special workman's wristwatch? Well, that watch is broken. Yes, it's right. It's for people who work broken shifts. Look, here. Ah, now, here, don't go away. W would you like one of these cough lollies? But I haven't got a cough. No? <laughs> you just wait till you have one of these lollies. <laughs> look, Sam, there's nothing I want, thanks. Ah, well, look, here. Ah, I've got a real bargain. Look, the Hope Diamond. Not the Hope Diamond. The very same. And here, hey, listen, first, it's selling for only 47 and 6. 47? Aye, but Sam, the real Hope Diamond's worth thousands of pounds. Where'd you get yours? Well, Fingers McGee, the pickpocket, was introduced to Bob Hope, see? Well, anyway, how else could I get these things at these ridiculous prices? Wait for it. Well, I've got to be getting along now first. One of our oldest employees goes into, um, oh, uh, compulsory retirement today, and I have to uh, smuggle him a file to get him out again. A file, eh? Yes. Not, not an everyday file, mind you. Looks ah. like a real file. Have a look at it here. Ah. Yeah. Right. Looks like a file, but inside it is a fruit cake. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Lovers of good chocolate all over Australia have something to be pleased about. Who wouldn't be when Cadbury's have reduced the price of quarter pound dairy milk chocolate? It now costs only two shillings for quarter pound Cadbury's dairy milk. Yet the same high quality, same guaranteed weight, and the goodness and flavour of that glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk have been maintained. If you see anyone walking away from a chocolate counter with a smile on his face, you can be certain they've just discovered the good news. Pop into your chocolate counter and see. But while you're there, buy a block yourself. As smooth as a creamy chocolate can be. That's what you'll say about dairy milk. And it's always a good reason for... I want Cadbury's. Now, Purse Brown, where are you with the pictures last Thursday night? All right, Jelly Bean, I'll come clean. I don't want you to do anything unnatural. <laughs> now, you just answer the question. All right. I was at the picture theatre. All right, let's hear your story. Well, I went up to the local picture theatre, see? Then why didn't you know what Will picture was... Will you let me was... tell it? All right. I didn't know anything about the picture because I didn't go inside. I sneaked into the manager's office. I didn't want to be recognised. But the money wasn't in it. I thought it was murder. It was murder, all right. What? Hey? Yes, I was after the job as lolly boy. Lolly boy? Yeah, but the money wasn't in it. Only five bob a night. I reckon that's murder. They can keep their job. Oh, oh you had us worried, brother. You see, Mousy Mulligan, the old lolly boy, is leaving. And I answered the ad for a new one. Oh, first we suspected you. I'm sorry, old pal, old pal. I don't understand you two. What's all this mystery anyway? Well, it's like this. Elsie found an old magazine. Yeah. She saw the picture. <laughs> Miss Elsie, oh dear me, I ran all the way. Oh, me poor sciatica, it's galloping. Mr Hercules, what is it? I've just been up the street. Yes, yes. And, and well, you know, you know how I'm not a sticky nose. No, of course you aren't, treacle beak. <laughs> As I was saying, Miss Elsie, I'm not one for gossip. But Mrs Baker in the butchers told Mr Bilgehead, the bank teller, that she's heard from the greengrocer that Harry Bailey, the plumber, got it from the manager himself. So there. Yes, 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 I see. Hey, look, I'm not one for gossip myself, Herc, but who got what from where? 527 pounds, 14 and 7 pence. Ah, hey. So you see, it's not, not just a lot of silly nonsense. What the devil are you talking about? The baker heard from the greengrocer's plumber £527.14 and something. That's how much that was stolen from the local picture theatre last Thursday night. What? What have you got to say about that, Purse? Uh, last Thursday night, that was the night that you went out, Purse. Somebody swiped all that money from the theatre last Thursday? Now, just a minute, please. I'm only stating fact. I got it straight from the horse's mouth. Well, I didn't get it all from there. No, you probably got a bit from the horse's mouth. <laughs> That's a funny joke. <laughs> All right, Jack, take it easy. Say, so, Eric, have they got any idea who stole the dough from the theatre? 
Well, I don't like to repeat common talk, but... Yes? Mousy Mulligan, the lolly boy, said he saw a suspicious-looking character hanging around the office, and he's given a complete description of him to the police. Oh, no. That must have been me. Well, how do you like that? Mousy's gone and ratted on me. <laughs> time it rains, it rains, pennies from heaven. Don't you know each cloud contains pennies from heaven? You'll find your fortune falling all over town. Make sure that your umbrella is upside down. Trade it for a package of sunshine and flowers. Don't you know for the things you love, you must have showers. So if you hear it thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven for you. Every time it rains, it rains Pennies from heaven Don't you know each cloud contains Pennies from heaven You'll find your fortunes falling All over town Make sure that your umbrella Upside down, just trade it for a package of sunshine and flowers. Don't you know for the things you love, you must have showers. So if you hear it thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven for you. Poor old Purse, a desire to be rich and his friends have turned against him. He should take a tip from Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate. Dairy Milk is not only rich, it's creamy too. But that's why Dairy Milk is so popular with young and old everywhere. World famous Cadbury quality chocolate blended with a glass and a half of pure fresh full cream milk makes Dairy Milk the smoothest, creamiest chocolate money can buy. And Cadbury's Dairy Milk in the quarter pound block is even better value. Two shillings is the new lower price for dairy milk in the quarter pound size. Same high standard, same guaranteed weight. Buy a block tomorrow. There's nothing to touch dairy milk's deep down flavor. Each thick chunky square is a meal in itself. Remember, Cadbury's reduced prices. No wonder more and more people are saying, I want Cadbury's. <laughs> What are we going to do? Every policeman in town has Purse's description. Yeah, well, we'll have to think of something. Uh, let me see now. Maybe you could grow a beard. Oh, that'd take too long. Yeah, no. Well, uh, let's see. We'll dress him up with some of your old clothes. You could uh, take them in a bit for him. <laughs> Jack Happy. <laughs> Goodbye, Jelly Bean. Goodbye, Jack. Purse, you packed your bag. Farewell, oh, free world. I must forsake thee. <laughs> It is a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done before. Hey, but Purse, Purse, you've got to go incognito. I'll go in a tram, thank you. <laughs> now look, Purse, wouldn't it be better for everyone if you just gave yourself up? Well, I didn't do it. I'm the victim of circumnavigational evidence. <laughs> the sweet job turned sour. All right, then what are you leaving for? Well, Mousy's given the cops my description. And the manager would remember the interview I had, and no one would believe I really applied for the job as Lolly Boy. But why wouldn't they believe you, Purse? Well, uh, the advertisement was for a bright young boy. No, no, they'd never believe you, Purse. There's only one thing to do. I must go into smoke and hope it blows over. Farewell, I go. Yeah, he's been I'm surrounded. 
There's better be half a dozen policemen out there. It'll take more than that to surround you. <laughs> What am I going to do? Oh, quick, close upstairs. All my old theatrical costumes are up there. Find a disguise of some sort, but hurry. Uh, in the name of the... Uh, uh, in the name of the... Uh... Oh, I've forgotten it. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's it. Open up in the name of the law. Quickly, Paris. All right, quickly. Let's stall them off as long as you can. Yes. Oh, look, dear boy. May I come in? I, I, um... I have a search warrant here. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, the commissioner's lunch order? No. Uh, uh, would you like a ticket for the policeman's wall? Uh, no. Uh, two bob each way rising fast? No. <laughs> oh, let me see. Where did I put that search warrant? I know I had it on me when I cracked that safe this morning. Oh, yes, now I remember. I left it on the scene of the crime as a clue. You robbed a safe? That's right, dear boy. Business is very slack, and it gives the lad something to do. <laughs> Look, um, we're searching for Percival Brown. Uh, now, come on, don't stall me. You can't fool the master sleuth. The what? The sleuth. You know what a sleuth is, don't you? Yeah, it's a sort of a battleship, isn't it? No, 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 that's a sloop. What's a sloop? The battleship. Oh, well, we mustn't make it up, must we? <laughs> I know you. You're deliberately stalling me off. I saw Percival Brown open this door a few minutes ago, and I insist that we search this house. Now, come on, men. Oh, uh, uh, how do you do? Excuse me, but have you got a search warrant? I've got it, men. Now, don't struggle. Take your hands off me. Uh, you take your hands off me. I'm Elsie Smith. Eh? Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, old girl. Uh, girl? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, after all, you do fit the description. Especially the part about the five o'clock shadow. Oh, are you searching for purse? Oh, that's right. Now, upstairs, men. Come on, Jeff. Oh, please, Inspector, not upstairs, not upstairs. Men, I am going upstairs to get to the bottom of this. Oh, I say. I say, are, are you Percival Brown? May I speak English? <laughs> oola, wacky, oola. Mumbo, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I... I do beg your pardon, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Tim Sim. Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. Uh, we're looking for a desperate man. Have you seen him? Me no see him. Will you swear to that? I've not seen him. Assures me name's Purse Brown. Uh, good. What? I say, open up in there. Open up, Purse. Uh, I am a dim sim. Uh, let me in, old chap. And don't think I look as dim as I sim. <laughs> Inspector, that wasn't the man you're looking for. That was an old Chinese Mandarin. I don't care if it's a Portuguese grapefruit. I'll skip him. <laughs> Open the door. On guard, Monsieur. I say, who the devil is this? This? Oh, uh, this, it's, uh, that's Monsieur Au Revoir, the famous French fencer. <laughs> a fencer, eh, Monsieur? Uh, tell me. Why is it that you wear that wire mask over your face? I Oh, uh, the flies bother me. <laughs> yes, uh, that I can understand. Uh, but, um, that dueling sword you're carrying, are you a good fencer? Me? I am the greatest fencer in the world. Is that so? True right. I mean, we, we. <laughs> you know the Great Wall of China? I was a fencer on that job. <laughs> I do not believe it. Uh, take off that mask. Aye, fair go, aye. Well, it's the Chinese gentleman. Ah, so. We. Oui. <laughs> Oi. Yeah. With a French accent. Does the United Nations know about this? Brown, come clean. Ah, oh, cut it out. It isn't bath night. <laughs> oh, what a capture. I'm warning, I'll take down anything you say. Okay, poison, take that down. <laughs> now, wait a minute, you'd never have captured him if Elsie and I hadn't handed him over to you. Jeff, what are you saying? Shh, 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 we'll collect the reward. Remember the photo in the magazine? We'll pay Pris's fine, then split what's left three ways when he comes out. Good idea. Now, where's the photo? Here, I have it in this pocket. Okay, Look, it thank you, I got it. All right, Inspector, this is the man we handed over to you. We claim the thousand pounds reward. That is worth a thousand pounds. Oh, now I know what they mean by inflation. Oh, I'll answer it. <clears throat> Hello? Just a minute. It's for you, Inspector. Oh, thank you. Hello. What? Yes, I've got him. Single-handed. What? Uh, oh, dear. 
Oh, there seems to have been a mix-up somewhere. Well, here I am, Inspector. I've even washed my wrists so I won't dirty your handcuffs. <laughs> It doesn't really matter now, old boy. I? The station just rang to say that Mousy the lolly boy confessed to stealing the money. Oh, me. It takes all sorts to make a lolly boy. So Mousy did it? Yes, and he used you to take the suspicion off himself. <laughs> and now that I see you, I'm sure you couldn't have stooped so low. <laughs> oh, you beautiful. You hear that, Jelly Bean? I'm a free man. Yes, Purse. I hear it. Well, aren't you excited? How about it, Jack? I don't know, Purse. Well, I thought you was me friends. Why all the gloom? Well, you may have proved that you didn't steal the money, but what crime did you commit? Aye? Well, none that I know of. But how do you account for this photo in a magazine? What's this? What's this? What a dead or alive? One thousand pounds of... Oh, that! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's a screamingly funny? It's your photo, isn't it? Yeah, but that was for an advertisement. An advertisement? Yeah. Wanted. The man who doesn't use sweet smell soap. Although quarter pound Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate has been reduced in price to two shillings, you can be very sure that dairy milk itself hasn't changed. It's still the same high quality, still the same guaranteed weight. There are still those 21 thick, chunky squares to enjoy, and that glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk in each half pound. For over a century now, Cadbury's dairy milk has been first favourite everywhere. Consistent goodness and creamy flavour is why people everywhere ask for dairy milk, the chocolate they love best. Remember, Cadbury's reduced prices. Buy a two-shilling quarter-pound block tomorrow. You too will find dairy milk chocolate your best reason for... I want Cadbury's. In tonight's Cadbury show, you heard John Mellon as Jack Happy, Kevin Brennan as our old friend Purse, Frank Strain as Mr. Hercules, Ward Leopold as Stanley Salesman, David Butler as Inspector Rita Pornsford as Elsie. Songs were by Tony Lamond and Ron Williams and the music of Wilbur Kentwell. Script was by Hugh Stuckey, production Noel Judd. Now, this is Reginald Goldsworthy saying good night to you all from the Cadbury Show.